Hi chemistry students, this is a very short tutorial on making a basic bar graph uh, with your data with error bars. So um, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, type in basically a summary data chart and you may have done your mean score and standard deviation elsewhere in Excel um, or you may have done it on your calculator but you're going to want to have just the summary and this would be an experiment about the effect of background noise basically no music, music without vocals, music with vocals, on the mean score on a multiplication test, for example. And there are our mean scores. We figured out our standard deviations, and now we want to graph it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select just the top two rows. And then you're going to go to the Insert. And this is where on insert you're going to see the choices of columns. So we're going to take this, it's a, called a column graph and that's called a bar, but this is really the kind of bar graph we want and one that goes up and down. So you're going to pick column and just clustered column. And you're going to see there, you got a graph. All right, now we don't want to pick standard deviation as well because it'll add a second bar and we really want to just do error bars on this. So next thing you want to do is go to add chart element and we're going to go to error bars and we're going to go down to more error bar options right down here so error bar so you're going to go again to add chart element and then error bars and more error bars options so you'll click on that and we want to go down here to custom okay and then we want to say specify value so we're going to say specify value. Now it wants to do a positive and negative. So it's on positive first, and we're just going to select, uh, oops, we're just going to select in order the standard deviations. Okay, and then for negative value, um, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, and so we've got sort of plus and minus the same values, and we say okay. And there you go. And you can see that the error bars are not the same um, and uh, the same amount because the standard deviations are pretty different. And you've got your error bars and it's got caps on it and all that good stuff. Now you need to do a little bit more fixing up. Um, you can make the chart a little bit bigger if you want to see it a little bit bigger. Uh, a little more fixing up because we need a better title and, and we need axis labels and that sort of thing. So again, you go back up to chart element and we'll start out with the chart title. Um, and we'll put it above the chart. And instead of just saying mean score, which is not very descriptive, we're going to put, again, we like to number our graphs, graph number one, and we'll just give it the title, the effect of background noise on, a, on uh, the mean score on a multiplication test. Make sure we do that right now. So that's done. Go back to add chart element, and we want to do axis titles. So primary horizontal. Um, here's the axis title. Uh, again, I always have a little trouble selecting this, but you select it, and you say type of background noise. And then we want to go back to add chart element, and we want to do axis titles, and this time primary vertical. And this is the one I always have trouble getting selected. Um, so you want to select it and you're going to say um, percentage, oops, did I do that? Shift percentage correct on test. Okay. And then you've got your uh, basic bar graph um, and you can say uh, command uh, copy. And then if you want, you can um, open a Microsoft Word file, not that one. We'll open a new document. And you can just command V and paste it right on there. And you've got your um, graph all done for your um, simple bar graph with your error bars. I hope that was helpful.